Hello everybody and welcome back. This will be, I believe, the final video on HTML forms for a while. And this one is going to be about the text area. The text area is a way for you to let your users fill in a paragraph or kind of longer bodies of text. It makes it a lot easier on them to be able to type large things into there rather than just a single input field. So if I was going to type an essay, it would be really annoying to try and type an essay in here because as soon as you start typing, you run out of, of room and you type, type, type. And now if I want to look, read back over, I have to scroll back. It's just super annoying. So you don't want to use a regular input for that. You want to use a text area. So to add a text area, I'm going to come down and text area. Hit tab. As always, give it a name. We might say um, info info and now it all text areas require columns and rows calls and rows and this is how many columns wide it's going to be and how many row, rows long it's going to be how many rows um, vertical spacing inside you can populate with data if you want you might say tell us about yourself and then save when i refresh tell us about yourself i want to put a couple breaks just for formatting for now. So tell us about yourself. So I can pick all this stuff and just type whatever I like and you'll notice that it's a lot easier for me to go through and read back over what I wrote. I can also, in most browsers, not all, but in most browsers, you can take this and drag it and I, as the user, can resize this to make it happy. So right now I don't like this tell us about yourself being inside there because if they hit submit, it'll just submit tell us about yourself. Instead, I'm gonna put that as the placeholder. That way, when I refresh the page, the user can just start typing and that goes away. They don't have to actually delete that and they won't, act, they won't submit it with that. And you can do a lot of the same things with text areas that you can with other things, such as making it required. If I wanted to make it, let's say I wanted to make it really long on the page, I might do 40 rows. And let's see what that looks like. See how long that is? For columns, I might do 300. It'll be 10 times as wide. See how wide this thing is? But no matter what I set, the user can still resize it unless I take that ability away because I do, as the developer, have that option to remove their ability to resize it. If you want to do that, just look it up on the MDN docs. I want to push you towards the MDN docs as much as I can because there's a ton of options and things like that that are listed there that we're not going to have the time to cover in these videos. Go forth, read the MDN docs. They're wonderful and amazing. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.